I want to start this video off by saying this is for people who are obsessed with the meta and play by that rather than just getting characters you love. This is for people who play the gotcha solely to get cards to fill their team slots and don't care about characters as long as they have the strongest team. I think any card can work for your team if you put in the work, and this is to help you better understand the card and put it in the right team for both you and that card. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you're already well versed in meta and gameplay, so I'm not going to explain basic gameplay stuff. If you're new and don't know mechanics yet, I have videos on that to fill in some gaps. Vil is an SSR attack unit. His max HP is 10,734 and his max attack is 6,509. So Vil's HP is below average when looking at the all cards average and then just SSRs. His attack on the other hand is above both of these categories. It's not high enough that I would rank it, it's out of the top 20 highest attack in SSRs, but it's still pretty high. His spell 1 is Forest Strike, his spell 2 is Fire Shot 2 and later Flame Blast 2, and his spell 3 is Void Shot 2. For skills, he's got Flora Damage Boost, Power Boost, and Damage Cut. On spell 1 at level 1, he has a minor Flora Damage Boost to allies for one turn, at level 5 it's Modest, and at level 10 it maxes out at Major. On spell 3, he starts out with nothing, boo. At level 5, he gets a minor power boost to caster for one turn, and at level 10, he gets an additional skill, a minor damage cut to foe for one turn. His duo magic partner is Jade, who gives him a modest HP boost. His other buddies are Ruggy with a minor HP boost, and Sebek with a minor power boost. Alright, so let's talk about building starting with the basics. In order to Groovy Vil, you'll need to get him to power level 40 and vignette level 3. Groovy doesn't use up any Thalmarks, but it will cost 5 crown candy. As for uncapping, he'll need 0 to 12 SSR Awakening perfumes. Each uncap costs 3 perfumes, so the more copies you get, the less perfumes we'll be using. I'm still trying to figure out how many visits it takes to max out friendship levels, but so far I've found that it takes 40 visits to reach level 10, and that's halfway to max level 20 and using no items at all. Now we got spells. For spell 1, he'll need 351 flora notepads, 253 textbooks, 111 grimoires, and 318,000 thou marks. Every single spell costs that, by the way. They all cost 318,000 individually. Spell 2 needs 351 fire notepads, 253 textbooks, and 111 grimoires. And finally, spell 3 needs 351 void notepads, 253 textbooks, and 111 grimoires. In total, that's going to cost 954,000 thou marks. So we got some solid alternative options for this vill if he doesn't come home, or if you decide to save your gems. My suggestions are Birthday Jacket Sebek, Birthday Boy Apple, Suitor Suit Lilia, and School Uniform Ace. Sebek is our spell match option, but he's got more than just the same spells as Vil. He's attack, and he also has flora damage boost. Everything else is different, but still, if you want Vil mostly for that flora boost and those elements, Sebek is going to be a solid alternative. Epple is another SSR option. He has Force Strike and Void Shot 2 for his spells, so he's only lacking Fire Shot 2. His skills are that flora damage boost and damage cut. Like Sebi, he doesn't share buddies with Vil though, which does suck. But if you're more concerned with skills, Apple would be a good replacement to consider. If your main reason for pulling Vil is his floor damage boost, Lilia is the only budget option. Period. Rares don't have that skill, and Lilia is the only SR with that skill. I can't even say wait until X event because there's no rares or super rares in JP right now that have it. Lilia is all you have. But that said, it's not like the end of the world. It's true he's probably not the greatest match for Vil, but they still have some things in common. Lilia also has Sebek as a buddy, and then, of course, that Flora damage boost. Everything else is different, though. Yeah, at least he has Sebek, I guess. And last, we got Ace. He has a Floor Spell 1, a Fire Spell 2, and Power Boost. That's the end of the similarities, though. I would really recommend this Ace if you just need those elements and you don't care about that Flora boost. Because of his Flora damage boost, I think his best placement would be in teams going against water units. I would set him to spells 1 and 3 because fire wouldn't be a great thing in that fight, but I think he'll be great in teams going against water units. He'll be a solid attack unit, so while I think he can be slotted into a team, to be honest, I would also consider making a team or at least part of a team around him to really get his full potential. Thank you everyone for watching, and a very special thank you to my channel members and Twitch subs. Your support helps me to continue to make these videos. If you'd like early access to my videos, consider becoming a channel member. Patrons and Kofi members can get my scripts early before I record them. I livestream over on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see y'all later.